Okay, so I'm about to film a haul, and I was having trouble finding the stuff I bought. Look at this. <laughs> my dog has stolen my lipstick. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Did you want some lipstick? Huh? <laughs> Hey everybody, today I have a quick haul for you, and this haul consists mainly of lipsticks. I watched a haul like this a while ago that was all lipsticks, and I, not a while ago, like a couple weeks, and I thought it was super interesting because I've really been obsessed with lipsticks. If you can't tell, I have... I'm missing one. I have seven lipsticks for you, one lip gloss and one eye product. And I just am showing you that one because it's new and I'm excited about it and I'm wearing it. So mainly it's lipsticks um, because I've been really obsessed and I found a couple new lines, not new, but new to me, that I'm just loving. So I wanted to show you my seven lipsticks I picked up. Okay, he's a cute pot. <laughs> if only he could sit in my hand, am I right? 80 pound dog lover, what, what? No, um, let's go ahead and jump in. So I'll start with my CoverGirl lipstick because... I love CoverGirl lipsticks. Some of these are slightly older. You've already seen them most of them in tutorials. Um, but they're kind of, this kind of collective over like a month or so, like since Thanksgiving. But there's a couple of these that I have not used yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. I'll, we'll start, I guess, with um, whatever one I pick up. So this first one I used, and I have used in a tutorial. This is Smitten. It's a really gorgeous plummy red color. I love this one. Actually, you know what? I'll just swatch them now. It's easier. So that's Smitten. I really love this color. I wear it actually quite a lot, which is weird because I'm not really into purpley colors, but this one's gorgeous. The second one's all similar color in the sense that it's just a vampy col type color. This is the uh, Everlasting. It's a shimmery dark red. So actually on my lips, I find it very similar to Red Velvet by Revlon because it's shimmery and dark red. So there you go. It looks very glossy on because of the shimmer. And then the last one, which I don't know if you've seen this one yet, but I definitely, I've used this one actually quite a bit already. Similar to the color of my shirt, it's called Delight. It's just a really pretty pinky coral that I find looks really good when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, just for a little pop. So there's that, and I love that as well. And now I'll show you the two that I just got that I haven't used yet. They already have smudges on them. Awesome. This first one, um, I'm not sure. I saw a couple of videos about these lipsticks, and there was a color somebody was wearing that was gorgeous, but I don't think this was it. But it looks pretty, too. It's Rapture. It's just a nice, like, if you can see that, a pinky corally type color. And then the last one I have by CoverGirl, this one looks like a really gorgeous color. It's Dazzle. It's a purpley toned, like, mauve toned pink. And I feel like I'm going to actually love this one a lot. If you can see, it's right there. It's somewhat similar to... Which one was this? It looks like it could be similar to Delight, just a little cooler. And it's got a, like, frost to it. Like a pearl. But it's so pretty. I love this. And then let's go ahead and jump into the Maybelline ones. I got a bright pink, which I'm wearing right now. I don't know if you can really tell how bright it is. I really got this because um, in the lip video I watched, somebody was wearing this. Uh, it was I Heart Makeup 92. And I really just thought it was such a unique color. And I'm not a pink kind of girl, but it really seems to pop your skin tone. And I really wanted to try it. This is just Future Fever by Maybelline. Right up top there, it's a true neon pink. It's gorgeous. And speaking of neon, the last lipstick I got is from a new line by Maybelline. It's got, it's the same like as this, but it's like a new version because this is just the like regular one. This is their Vivids line, which is like neons. And I kind of wish I got the neon red because I just filmed a tutorial and realized I didn't have a good red and I could have gotten that. But instead I picked up a color that I probably will not get a lot of use out of for a while because it's a coral. Why I did that, I don't know. I just guess it appealed to me because it's really pretty. It's called Shocking Coral. So yeah, look out for that. It should be coming to your stores soon. It's like this bright orange packaging. You'll never lose this. It's gorgeous. And then the last thing I got is not a lip product. Well, I did also get one more lip product. But first, I'll show you the other new Maybelline thing. They came out with a new series of cover or color tattoos. I don't know if they're limited edition. I think they're permanent. I hope. 
but um, I didn't pick up most of them because they weren't really colors I would use a lot, but this one I could not pass up even though I have way too many of these things. In fact, I, you probably want to see it already, but I just filmed a, a color tattoo collection video, so this will not be in it, but yeah, I just got a new one. This one's just so pretty. It's um, inked in pink. I'm wearing it right now. It's just this gorgeous like peachy pink. And it's not like an exact dupe for Ruben Asqua Mac, but I feel like it gives you a similar effect because it's like a warmish pink color and with like a sheen to it. It's really pretty. Last thing I got is pretty boring. It's just a clear lip gloss. I was going to get the Revlon one because I love Revlon lip glosses, but I figured why pay like five bucks when I can pay three or four for a Rimmel one, which I don't love these that much. They're the Stay Glossy and this one's just the, um, I think it's just called, it Seduce Me awesome but whatever I just wanted a clear lip gloss so and then I yeah so that is my quick little haul mainly lip products I can't wait to use these for you guys let me know about especially like covergirl and the Maybelline but especially covergirl if there's any colors I should try I wanted to try the um flame which is like the or hot one or the other is the one that Taylor Swift likes I think one was one she was wearing but the other one was the one she really liked I don't know, but I wanted to try one of those, but I don't know why I don't buy reds that much, even though I love reds. I think right now I'm just really into, like, plum tones and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me know any recommendations for lip products because I'm obsessed, or don't because I don't need any more. I have way too many. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like this if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more, especially since I'm putting up videos every day this month. Haha, <laughs> you should have already seen that video if you didn't. Scroll back a few. I don't know. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.